welcome back to Maple Farm, and it is now May. I have skipped ahead. There are now some bailing contracts, so there'll be stuff for the patrons to do for Agri DS. DS Agri. I was going to say Agri Contracting then, but that's Ollie Blogs, so no. Um, but before we get to that, I need to mow a bunch of grass, so... Um, that's what I'm going to be doing today. We have three fields that need mowing and baling. Um, got the grass conditioner on one of the mowers. Need it on both, ideally. Um, so we're going to get field 16, field 11, and field 12 mowed, baled, and wrapped for silage. Um, and then all three of those need the grass plowing in and replanting. Um, so 16 is going to be soybeans and 11 and 12 are going to be maize and sugar beets. I can't remember which way around that is, but we'll get there when we get there. Um, so this field is going to unusually for me have a cash crop in it. Um, it's been a while since on a regular let's play I've had a cash crop in a field, but that's what this is. Um, I think the logic was that this is worth a lot more than um, anything else we would plant to sell to buy in any feed that we need. Um, I like I was buying in brewer's grain over the winter to put in the TMR. Um, that's what that was for. So I'm just going to clear off the the yield maps because that would be useful and reset the. Uh, economic stuff as well it would seem so this is the second video this week um so i'm trying to stick to mondays and thursdays because i'm having a lot of fun playing on here and it also means that i can uh, do a bit more with the multiplayer side um you can see actually some of these fields do need rescanning so that weird strip on field 19 is the bit that i was mowing over and over again for the zero grazing and um, one of the things that i am do in the next video is when i mow that field i'm shifting across the patch that i zero graze so that we spread to that almost kind of where on the well, not kind of where but you know the impact on the the crop the grass crop in that field um what it actually means in FS is it's spreading out the um, degradation of the precision farming data, but I think I'm going to have to get the agronomist in again soon on that field. Um, so between these two videos, there wasn't any multiplayer action because I think I said at the end of the last video, or partway through the last video, all the contracts vanished in April. Um, which was a tad annoying. Um, I knew bailing contracts would crop up in May, which is why partly I wanted to um, speed speed through to May. Um, actually, there were some other contracts that came up as well. There were some weeding contracts and some fertilizing contracts. So, um, because of the way this all works, after this video, the uh, the patrons did get really stuck into doing a bunch of contracting and. There's a bit of footage and probably some pictures that I'll put in the start of the next video, but like I did last time, um, just to show you what they got up to. Um, they are very enthusiastic. They are very enthusiastic. And actually, something I did want to talk about in the last video, I spoke about the the fact that the, the Fiat 180 had about 50 hours on it, and it seems to have got more expensive to keep running. Um, and thanks to Mark for sending me over Farmer Cop's video. I've never really watched Farmer Cop. Obviously, I was aware of him. He's a pretty big YouTuber, kind of, you know, huge. Um, I never really watched any video, his videos, but he has some really good um, kind of tutorial type videos, a lot like I do, which is, is kind of cool. Um, and he did a deep dive into repair costs and things like that. and. Um, actually, it doesn't seem to make a huge amount of difference in terms of the number of hours on the tractor. Um, the important thing is repairing frequently, it would seem. Um, you don't want to let the tractor get more, more than, you know, the more damage it is, the more expensive it is to repair per percentage point you're re-repairing, which I found really interesting. 
Um, I did share that video on my community page, so it's worth. It's definitely worth a watch. Um, so that was cool. That, I think the uh, what Mark pointed out to me was actually he and Eagles just used it loads to do the forestry in the last between before the last video. Um, so actually, it had just been used a lot, um, and so it needed repairing again. Uh, it's what it is, I guess. So um, that tractor is going to make a reappearance in the next video. Maybe not this one. I don't think we use it in this one. Um, we just don't have enough kit to exclusively have stuff between the two businesses. Um, my intent is that they will be common anyway. The only reason that I'm separating is some of my control issues and keeping bits of the farm separate um, so yeah the, the kit the, the, the two the two separate entities own as a multiplayer I actually shared so um, after this video all of the grass working kit was transferred across to DS Agri so that they could use it to do baiting contracts I think that was a bit of a shock for them so the uh, the realization that nothing has auto load and we are not far enough through yet to have things like bale stackers. So people got to practice their manual bale loading and it was pretty good actually. It was pretty good stuff. So yeah. I did actually get on to do a little bit of multiplayer with um, at least with the Eagles as well, which was which was fun. Um, I think I spoke about it on the Ohio stream, so if you wanna hear a bit more of me rambling about that, go rewatch the replay which is on YouTube now. So yeah. The really cool thing about this is it's going to allow me to be able to think, think of the words you're trying to say and um, to develop stuff and do things that I probably wouldn't have been able to do at quite the pace that I can. Um, that's particularly going to be more useful as we get more advanced and things get more expensive. You know, I, I can buy a tractor now for, for 15 20k. It's not going to be the case in the future. They're going to be a couple hundred k, so it's going to it's going to change, and that's going to be really useful. So, what I'm going to attempt to do now is set up a course play course over on field eleven, and then use auto drive to drive over there and start work. Um, so, I did manage to do this in a previous video with um, uh Struggling, really struggling with my words in a previous video with fertilizing when I was doing fertilizing contracts. Sorry. Um, so I want to try and do it again because basically we have three fields to do. I'm not going to show you three version, three times doing each job. So once I've done them in this field, we'll probably get course play and auto drive to do a lot of the work. Um, the slight problem that I missed is that when I selected the destination, it deselected the course play button. Um, so here he goes, nicely running off up round the court, round the farm to uh, get around to field 11, which is down here. But um, I'd forgotten to enable course play. So the, uh, the nice smooth transition to automatically mowing the grass did not happen. I don't know, that was a bit frustrating. Um, I didn't really know. I didn't notice why it didn't work until I was doing the editing. But there it goes it is off doing mowing um got it on uh curved edges so it's going to miss bits on the edges but yeah this this is a cover crop so everything we get off of here is a bonus so i'm not too worried um we are now in the store looking at the sales because there is probably something that i want oh, yes a tether um Pretty good price, the K brand. I think it's one that I've released before, 50% off. So only gonna cost us eight grand. Definitely what we want to get. We need to get a bit of money from the other farm though. So neither are particularly affluent at the moment, but, um, and the other farm has a lot of contracts active now. So what I did is when I saw them all crop up, I jumped in to DS Agri and claimed them all so that they wouldn't vanish again. So, um, bit of foreshadowing there of what the patrons got up to between this video and the next one um put a lot of weeding contracts um 
But yeah, so we're going we're to get ourselves a um, a tether. Why am I going to tether if I'm making silage? But with maze plus, you uh, if you ted to the semi dry state, you can get a little bit more in the bale, and whilst it's fermenting, it's not as heavy because you've not got as much moisture in there. So um, that's why I am doing that. It will uh, makes the bales easier to handle, means you get a little bit more in just for the uh, process of tedding. So that's what we're going to do. I don't know if I've done this on here before. I think I've done it a couple of times. Um, I learnt, I, I knew this was a feature. Um, I learnt the importance of doing it on Attingham when I did not head. And I didn't even condition and I did it with wet or fresh grass. And the bales were so heavy I had to get in something bigger to pick them up and stack them because the I think the tractor that I was trying to use could not um, easily pick them up and then maneuver them. It could pick them up, obviously the game doesn't have a weight limit on what you can lift with the front loader arms, but it does, but physics does mean that you then tip over. So um, yeah, I had to get something bigger. And since then, I think most of the time I've done at least conditioned. Conditioning makes them lighter. Conditioned grass has less moisture in it than wet grass, so it's lighter. And semi-dry grass has even less moisture, so it's even lighter. And you know, so with these bales, and uh, I'll do it in the next video, we'll uh, we'll just put these on, pick these up with the bale forks and run them down to the yard. It's not worth loading them on the trailer. But the other two fields, we will load them on the trailer and because we do have the big the bigger fence now, but most of the tractors are not huge, so making the load a little bit lighter is a bonus for that as well. Makes it a bit easier to cart it back to the farm. Um, yeah. Pretty much, you know, the thing that I'm really enjoying farm sim. You know, bit of, bit of mowing, bit of bale work. I do like my bale work, as I'm sure you are aware. Um, randomly, and I've spoken about this before, I hate grass work in real life. By grass work, I mean mowing the lawn, um, which I did this weekend for the first time this year. Yeah, I have always hated mowing grass in real life. I think it comes from as a kid having to mow grass a lot with a mower you know um we had some quite old neighbors and my parents generously offered for me to go mow their grass and they used to like their grass mown every week pretty much um so and they had a big garden uh, my parents had a big have a big back garden as well theirs was pretty much the same size it's huge um and it would take ages and they'd want it every week all through the summer so yeah i think that gave me a natural aversion to pushing a mower around a garden um that's compounded by the fact that our back garden is pretty much trashed by four dogs so yeah yeah that's that's kind of that um but i do find it amusing that even though i hate it in real life i love it in game it's uh one of the things that I've really grown to enjoy. Um, so I got the the Ford that we brought last time, that's for DS Angry. I got that to bring the plow over that we brought at the end of the last video as well, because I thought the disc plow would be really good for turning the grass in so we can reseed. Um, obviously the Ford won't pull it when it's going through the field, but just to bring it back over, it was fine. Um, and while it was here, it was handy to have another small tractor to get jobs done, like tedding. Um, a, let's say the um, the Fiat Agri is has stayed over at um, the S Agri for now. I'm saying the word Agri a lot um, for this video, at least. So yeah, it was good, and it was kind of nice to drive the Ford. So I have this Ford on my Frolling save, which is save that i do for the patrons and it's a really nice tractor i really like it um one thing i did do is speed up the gear change ever so slightly because i found it really frustrating how slow it changed gear it might be realistic that it's really slow to change gear but it made it a non-enjoyable experience to drive whereas now it's much more enjoyable um i'm going to say thank you to the patrons and the youtube channel members at this point appreciate you all supporting the channel um yeah, you're all awesome. So onto the baling now. I think all the moment's done. So I put the 
weights back on the baler you might notice that we're now up to 19.7 hours and because this is on this least we're using the least to own we need to pay for this at 20 hours or we're going to start increasing our total bill um, so it's a case of get the bailing done in this field before that or swap tractors part way through um, and then until I can afford to make the payment because I don't think we have enough even between the two farms to make that payment now um, I'm doing a really bad job of stopping the baler um, that we're just gonna have to park this up and leave it until we can afford to make the payment because otherwise we're going to pay we're, gonna, we're just going to be increasing our total cost and we don't need to have got enough other tractors that we can use so yeah i think and it's going to be it's an interesting one it's going to be it's going to be interesting with uh with having the multiplayer aspect people they're getting through a lot more work than i would do on my own which means the stuff that's on the lease to own we're going to have to pay for quicker way before the three years and we have had this tractor quite a while um but way before the three years and that's it's going to be interesting so, um I mean, we could we could change it so that it's more than 20 hours um but i suspect there's a balance point of um you end up basically paying for it all through the lease to own and maybe that's the way it should be i don't know um and you know the final payment is just a bit at the end to secure it um for now i quite like how it's set up so it's uh it's the first time that i've used lease to own where i've even got to near to the limit um they're buying it on certain patrons leaving that track they just sat running I assume that accumulates work time I've never tested it maybe I should um, when they were doing forestry when it was on trailer um, I'm curious about that now I, I sense a video what contributes to work hours or things trailers is a weird one I wouldn't know how to test trailers but you know, we had tra that trailer leased and it had almost no hours on it um, even though it was being used for forestry quite a lot um, whether it's moving hours I don't know I think that is likely to be a video at some point um, yeah so we're up to 19.8 hours now I'm going to stop when we hit 19.9 because we need to drive back there we've not got to go far but I just don't want to risk it I don't want to pay for the extra hour and then essentially that's a lot of money um, it's not a huge amount with a tractor that costs this much um, I think full price is less than 30,000 uh, but it wouldn't be that much it'd be a few hundred pounds I should, probably shouldn't have worried I probably should have just carried on um, but I wanted to use this as an example I guess of how to uh, operate when you're using these to own to optimize how much you spend on things right. um, yeah doing, doing that tutorial really kind of opened my eyes onto how that mod works and was really pleased that i actually got that done um, looks like the ford has finished windrowing that field um it had a bit of fun with that windrow because it doesn't go backwards very well um, kind of like I don't bail very well or wasn't bailing very well when I recorded this video I normally don't do it as bad as this but you know it's clearly having an off day and uh, because I don't have the sound on I can't hear the bail warning so, and I, I, I switched to skip rows just because it was easier I didn't do it I should have done another headland probably um, something that I'm really bad at with bailing is not doing enough headlands i always do i usually do two and i should definitely do three um the problem is that three headlands on a field like this is probably 75 percent the field um that's not really a problem i guess it's just what it is but um yeah i actually got more bailed than i thought before i would click over that last 0.1 of an hour that i'm worrying about 
my uh, yeah I thought it was going to go past a fair bit quicker but it didn't um, I think probably we're going to be selling some silage bales in soon or whenever we need to raise cash I guess because they're not going to go off um, but we're into first cut we still have two stacks of bales down there so um, not sure where all of those came from but still have a decent number of bales down there so I think probably um, kind of like we sold some of the excess straw definitely by the time we get to or if, if we get a good price prop up for either of those probably we'll look at selling some um, I'm planning with the with the big grass pasture to make hay off of that um, the weather looks good for May so we'll keep a bit for zero grazing and we'll make hay from the rest of it which means we have, we've got hay we could sell as well um, we do have a decent amount of hay so I think I'm just checking the hours on the but yeah, what am I looking? I'm looking for horsepower of tractors and things to see what tractor could run because there we are 19.9 hours see what tractor I can put on the baler to uh, to run it now that this is retired for a little while so yep yeah, let's just we'll use the forward and we'll just push that bale out of the way so we can actually collect that bit of the swath this was a nice combo actually the Ford is quite an agile tractor um, the one for early I use it as a loader tractor and it's quite an agile little tractor um, it doesn't have a front PTO so that's not awesome but overall it's a really nice bit of kit um, I'm not a real world connoisseur of Ford tractors but it's nice it's kind of iconic I think your blue and white tractor um, it's weird so obviously playing farm sim i've become more observant of tractors but i think you know, before that I, I knew what a john deere was i definitely knew what a john deere was um, knew what jcb was um in terms of fast track as well probably beyond that maybe not because where i lived you weren't really exposed to much farming equipment um but you know the blue and white Ford is pretty iconic, isn't it? So it's uh, yeah. I grew up opposite a farm, um, but by the time I was growing up, they weren't actually an active farm anymore. Um, the I think the dad, the dad ran it as a farm. The son was into engineering, and I think they probably sold off the farmland. Um, and he ran an engineering business from the, the buildings and stuff, so um, kind of metal, f m more metal fabrication engineering and that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, I, I grew up opposite a farm that wasn't actually a farm anymore, which was uh, kind of sad. And it's, I have no idea what they do there now. Um, I assume similar. I assume it's still made predominantly a metal fabrication business. Um, it wasn't a huge farm, there were only three or four sheds, so um, I actually worked there for a few weeks one summer when for the engineering business doing some basically clearing out an old barn for them. There's nothing particularly interesting in there. It was mostly moving moving piles of rubbish around to make space for them to pour a concrete base for a new I'd say it was a big lathe they were having brought in. But I'm not sure. Basically, I, I was just manpower to to clear rubbish, to make space, to put in a new bit of stuff. Um, and then I went and got a different, equally exciting job. Because um, it was when... Uh, um, I was trying to check the number of bales, but because this is still acting as a multiplayer game, I don't get a bale counter. Um, so I've wrapped the other field, I didn't think... I want to show you all of that and I thought this was more interesting because course play is running the baler so we've got a little bit more going on um, yeah after after I did that job for a while I went and worked for a building firm as a labourer this was all during sort of holidays from uni and stuff so and with wrapping the size bales I don't know how the um, the patrons were doing it the bit that I joined we were doing a hay contract but um, what I do to make stacking easier is I do them like this so drop one off the back pick the next one up and drop it right next to it 
so that you've basically got a pair of bales that you can pick up um, and you'll see in the next video I mean, you will have seen if you've watched the rest of the series how I then load them on the trailer um, I, I found very quickly that this was a way of speeding the process up quite a lot it's been a long time since I'd done a lot of manual bale work before I started this save and yeah it was a uh, it's a good way of maximizing or increasing the efficiency you, know. you don't really cover any more time wrapping because you know, I guess that I'm losing time by not driving to the next bale here but um, the time you save in stacking is so worth it um, yeah if we can just keep them as nice little neat pairs of bales it also makes counting them easier which I like because I like to know how many bales I got filled and you know for, for putting them on the trailer I mean you know I know I can fit um, I think it's four or five stacks of four bales on the bale trailer that I've got so I can see whether I've got more than a full trailer or not in the field so that's why I like doing it like this um, but if you're doing a save where you're manually bail stacking, or if you're a patron and you're watching this, this is how I do it. Mm. Yeah, the um, in fact, amusingly, it's no, ignore me. Um, lost track. I lost track. I was going to assume assuming you're a patron, then you probably have watched all the previous videos. So I would I would assume. Um, yeah. Anyway, it, if you're interested in joining in in the multiplayer then uh, you would need to head over to Patreon there's a link for that below and join up and then you can get involved uh, yeah it's worked really well so far so the server's been online twice since I started doing this it will be back up once or twice again this week um, it's partly why I've gone to doing two videos a week on here and partly because I just really enjoy it um, and you know it, it's varied it's f varied from a few hours to a couple of days but it's been online um, obviously I have to work around the fact that I need to make videos on here so uh, I can't just leave it up indefinitely because I need big chunks of each day to do my work um, and then what I do is put it on half time like it's on now I'm basically trying to preserve a chunk of the day so that there's time for the patrons to do stuff I leave it on half time they can work until it gets dark and then I take it offline and wait for the next video to be made so it, it's worked it's worked well so um, yeah so just a few more bales to wrap um, for me it's Tuesday so just finished the long Easter weekend um, didn't do a huge amount really and uh, went to see John Wick 4 at the cinema with Mrs D that was really good um, not going to give any spoilers away in case you want to see the film but I really enjoyed it it was um, a bit like John Wick 3 it got a bit long in places um, but overall yeah, classic enjoyable John Wick film um, but yeah no spoilers please don't put any spoilers in the comments because otherwise I might have to delete them um, because if other people want to watch the movie I want them to enjoy it so, and it really annoys me when people do that so yeah no spoilers otherwise I will delete them so you have been warned if you put a spoiler in and it gets deleted don't get upset pretty much done bailing's finished um, one more bale to wrap after this I'm not sure how full the bale is um, and there is a little bit of grass around the field so I'm just going to sit here for a second it would appear um, but I think when I pick this bale up I'm just going to jump out and run over to the Ford and just see if it's worth us trying to get one more bale yeah, really we don't need it we've got quite a lot of bales off of here um, I haven't counted them but it's quite enough it's quite enough considering we already have bales at the farm and we're into zero grazing so we're not going to be using well we are going to be using silage bales actually but we're not going to be using a huge amount of silage bales uh, yeah i'm not going to bother with finding 70 odd percent of a bale um we'll we'll get that 
another day so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the video if you did click the like button comments questions suggestions below and i'll see you next time